One can learn a lot from Age of Empires. For example, that 10 elephants fit on a bolt, but 11 archers don't. Okay, maybe unique technologies can teach us more realistic stuff. Thus, here are the 5 historically most accurate unique techs. Before we start, in the previous video we looked at the 5 worst technologies in that regard. If you haven't seen it, maybe check that one out before, link in description. As in the previous video, I will be judging whether a technology is affecting the right unit, is given to the right SIF and has a logical effect. On top of that, we will also check if the tech is truly unique to its civilization. Let's go! Number 5. Horburg. The Sicilians can redeem themselves for appearing in the previous bottom 5 video. Their other unique tech, Horburg, grants knights 1 melee and 2 pierce armor. This is a hauberk. It is a type of chainmail that has long sleeves and often extends beyond the hip. To understand why this technology is such a great fit for the Sicilians, we must first zoom out a bit to establish that Sicilians in AoE2 are actually Normans. Here you can see the Norman expansion around 1130. As the name suggests, Normans are people of Nordic origin. Let's add some letters here to make it bloody obvious. They established the Duchy of Normandy in northern France. From there they embarked on numerous conquests. Besides taking area on the Holy Land, they also gained control of Sicily. You will see, the Sicilians in AoE make much more sense when we treat them as the Norman Kingdom of Sicily. So for this video, I assume that the Sicilians are Normans. Here is a beautiful illustration of a Norman knight, of course wearing a hauberk. Looks familiar, right? The technology hauberk is rightfully given to the Sicilians slash Normans because this piece of armor was the most iconic feature of the Norman knight. It was their trademark, their signature. More armor is an effect that obviously makes sense. The only critique and reason why this tech isn't ranked higher the in-game hauberk provides more midi armor than pierce armor. It would be actually more accurate the other way around. Nevertheless, this technology is an excellent fit for the Normans and their knights who were always depicted with a hauberk. This image is still kept alive by the most viral social media post of the 12th century. The Bio Tapestry This 70 meter long artwork was created to brag about the Norman victory at the Battle of Hastings. Which by the way is in the game, yes this one here. In this scene you can see how King Harold, the leader of the opposing army is slain. The knights depicted on the tapestry are all wearing hauberks, making this piece of art the most famous depiction of our good old hob. Whoa, 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 wait, excuse me? Are you snatching a dead man's hauberk? Number 4. Fabric Shields. This technology grants Kamayuks, Slingers and Eagle Warriors 1 melee and 2 pierce armor and is unique to the Inca. Fabric Shields, or Hualcana as the Inca called it, were indeed widely used in the Incan army. Here you can see 3 Inca soldiers, 2 of which carrying Hualcana. The concept is simple. Fabric is attached to the bottom edge of the shield, which protects the lower body against projectiles while still allowing great mobility. This shield is so symbolic for Inca that even the civilization icon is a Hualcana. Fun fact, fabric shields also exist as a technology in Age of Empires 3, but in there with its real name, Hualcana. And this is the only thing holding this technology back from even higher spots on this list. Why not call it by its original name? But besides this, outstanding tech design. It is symbolic and pretty much unique for its civilization and has a spot on effect. I like the neat little detail that fabric shields protect better in ranged than in close combat. This is exactly what they were designed for in real history. The plus one midi armor is also justified, because if someone were to swing a club towards my legs, I'd rather have the blow be dampened by some fabrics than by my kneecaps. The Hualcana was one of the many success factors that allowed the Inca to form the largest empire of the Americas. 
but then conquistadors from far away appeared. The Hualcana didn't protect against Spanish bullets and the Inca didn't expect the Spanish Inquisition. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition! Number 3. Inquisition. The unique tech of the Spanish. Correctus. The Spanish Inquisition allows monks to convert enemy units faster. Presto. While the Spanish Inquisition might be unexpected in this video, it is super straightforward if you think about it. Inquisition in game is leading to faster conversions. Its historical counterpart was invented to do exactly that. Faster conversion of Muslims, Jews and heretics into the Spanish Catholic Empire by trials and sometimes torture. The aspect of speed, making conversions not anything else but in particular faster, also fits extremely well. Because normally religious conversion of society would take generations, with the Spanish Inquisition it only takes a couple of good sessions on the rack. You're a Christian now, welcome to the club. Membership fee is 10% of your total harvest. So the effect is spot on, it is given to the right sieve and it is unique. The Spanish is not the only, but the most recognizable Inquisition. Summing up. Inquisition is a dark bit of history captured perfectly and flavorfully in one simple tech. Next one. Oh, but before that, why do the Spanish have so much meme potential? Number 2. Atlatl. This technology is unique to the Aztecs and grants their skirmishers one additional range and damage. What sets it apart from the previous spot? Atlatl is really a technology, whereas Inquisition is rather an instrument of governing. Atlatl is the word for spear thrower in Nahuatl, the language spoken by Aztecs. A spear thrower is a piece of wood that hooks at the end of the spear and lengthens the top too, <clears throat> and lengthens the throwing arm. I think the picture explains the rest. This dramatically increases the range and power of the hurled spear exactly as it does in the game. Talking about uniqueness. Well, spear flowers were used around the world, primarily as a hunting weapon. Nevertheless, I let it go through as a unique technology of the Aztecs, because, reason one, Atlatl differed in design from spear flowers used in the rest of the world. I have no pictures to prove that point, but I read that somewhere on the internet. <coughs> reason two. Apart from being a hunting weapon, Aztecs use Atlatl extensively in warfare. Also against Spanish invaders, for example. Allegedly, a spear thrown with an Atlatl could penetrate leather armor and mail. Uh, at least I read that on the internet. Reason 3. Judging from ornamented archaeological findings, Atlatl seemed to play quite some role in Aztec society. And for that I finally have a reliable historical source. Look at this picture, it's from a museum. Number 1. Burgundian Vineyards When researched, farmers generate, besides the usual food, also a slow trickle of gold. So yeah, the first spot goes to peaceful peasants producing pine, uh, wine. Why? First of all, I think the effect makes perfect sense. When growing wine on your land, you can earn some extra schmeckles. But the real beauty comes from how the history of Burgundy is intertwined with the development of viticulture and vineyards in particular. Reaching back to the Celts, who were growing wine in Burgundy already around 50 BC, followed by the Romans and then the Catholic Church, which administered wine growing in the region. From as early as year 900 on, monks were the first major vineyard owners in Burgundy. 200 years later, the Order of the Cistercians was founded in Burgundy creating wall encircled vineyards like the Clos du Vouget. It still operates 700 years later. Here it is, you can visit it. That's a Burgundian vineyard. And the history of Burgundian vineyards goes on. In 1395, the Duke of Burgundy banned growing of grapes other than the high quality Pinot Noir. And later, a ban on fertilizers further increased the quality of wine. Yes, other civilizations also developed viticulture. But there is one aspect that makes the Burgundian wine culture unique in its literal sense. The aforementioned Cistercians developed the concept of Cru vineyards, as in Grand Cru. This is the concept that the unique combination of factors like soil, rain, light, etc. makes the wine of each vineyard different. 
This leads to the formation of protected terroirs regions. So while many nations are growing wine, being snobby about it, that of course was invented by the French, precisely in Burgundy. And if that doesn't deserve a unique tag, then I don't know. The cherry on top of the cake for me, and reason for number one spot, with Burgundian vineyards, a millennia old piece of living history is flavorfully captured in the game. Burgundian vineyards allow us to either squeeze out some extra gold in a long drawn out game, or spend the time on a wine tasting in the real world. With that, we're at the end of our historical journey and back in the present. In future videos, I also want to review the sense of the general tech tree. So if you're curious why stone shaft mining is a ridiculous idea, stay tuned in. By the way, I was blown away by your active contributions in the comment section of the last video. The community is truly healthy and alive. That's amazing and encouraging. Thanks for watching, good luck and have fun. Thank you.